there. Right where little Eftimios told us he would be. Let's talk to him. You want to talk? What? We've been discovered. Drop those things. Attack them. I am not... Ah, Jupiter, take it all. How do you know my name? I'm not telling you a thing. You can piss right off, or my people and I will feed you to the fish. You think I can be intimidated that easily? Hmm. All right. Maybe I am smart enough to accept your offer. Very well. Ask your questions. Isn't it obvious? Vitellius Gaevola owns it. He shares the plunder with the Aegean pirates in exchange for protection. There's a hidden cave on the coast near Chalcodon where Mithridates stores his supplies. His soldiers guard it vigilantly. If I take you to the galley, the soldiers will empty the cave. If I take you to the cave, the ship will leave. It's not about how quiet we are. I just completed a trip to move the supplies from the ship to the cave. The soldiers will have started to move the goods, and the ship is preparing to leave. There is no time. You're sure? There'll be no time to chase down that galley afterwards. If we don't bring home any evidence against Skaevola, your sister will be stuck with him. The villa... I want you to get your villa back and restore your name. Believe me. But think of the cost to the war effort. A lot of good Romans will die if we don't stop those supplies. The war will be won or lost, with or without supplies. Through the skill of the warriors and the shrewdness of their commanders. When Head tells you both paths are god shit, choose with nose instead. Take path of least smell. As you wish. Hide yourselves on my boat. They are still here. Supplies have not been moved yet, it seems. Corwinus actually told us the truth. I was honestly convinced we were walking into a trap. They haven't noticed us yet, and they seem quite spread out. If we're careful, we may be able to defeat them in detail. They were sent here from Rome. It's only fair they end up in the hands of Romans. Every Pontic soldier we kill feels like a little bit of vindication. Crates. I can't believe Skywiller has delivered all this to Mithridates right under our noses. It is a tendency I have observed many times throughout my life. The more one has, the more one wants. A lot of Pontic soldiers will go hungry over the next few days. heard in Rome, women change color of their hair. Maybe I will get a different color in Rome. Like what? How about... yellow? Is this possible? Trust me, Deianera. You don't want to be blonde in Rome. Why? Let us just say oh, it's what? undignified. Let's see what you're truly made of. Too strong. Mutiny when they learned I was giving Legio wick tricks to you. It's a good thing indeed that you vindicated my decision so thoroughly. Together, we have defeated one of Rome's greatest foes, a feat even Cornelius Sulla did not manage. With this victory, the Republic is once again whole. Yours has been quite the meteoric rise to military fame, that's for sure. The Consul has an impressive eye for talent. Legatus is being modest. He has a natural leader's sense of how to make the most of the people and resources at his disposal. It's time we decide what to do about this menace, Mithridatus. Do not address me like some common prisoner. But that is what you are. You are king no longer. 
My crown is not for the likes of you to take away. Yet, I have taken it quite literally. Here, Legate, it's yours. You are the king of this battle. I know when I am defeated. I will travel east with my family and you will never hear from me again. I swear it on my ancestors. That is the traditional way we deal with our vanquished enemies. Very well. It will be a triumph to remember. You can't do this to me. I am a descendant of Cyrus the Great, Darius the Great, Alexander the Great. If only you had been as great as them, you would not be here now. I will resume my position as proprietor of the province. I knew Zenobia's late husband, Maro, quite well. We were on good terms, and I expect this relationship to carry on with his wife. It was good of you to bring Maro's murderer to justice. I am certain Zenobia and I will quickly restore the prosperity to our fair province. Word is that a growing army of freed Sarwi are rampaging across the countryside, menacing the citizens of that region. I predict the Senate will give Damionos a slap on the wrist for his treason. We need him back in control of Thrakia to deal with that rebellion. It will be good to return to civilization after these long months abroad. It has been a great honor to serve under you all. You have served with distinction, Orestes. I regret that I could not see the war through as your commander. Come, let us return to our camp and begin to organize our journey back. We will have plenty of time to talk on the way. We didn't get our guy, but we won the war. I'd celebrate that. Precisely. Just don't get your hopes too high, all right? You don't really have a case anymore. Not really. I like it better out there. <laughs> all right, all right. It's just, in there I have to be someone else. Out here, I'm just Julius Calidus. I like being Julius Calidus. Never mind. They look heavily armed, Domine. What if they respond poorly to our demands? I hope you'll forgive me if that does not inspire confidence. <laughs> just where do you think you're going? Go home, then. What are you going to do about it? Let's see you try. You know what? This would be a perfect time for Kalida to just appear and kill a bunch of them. I would not protest against Gaizu either. Wenty, scatter you all, weaklings! Prepare your last rites! That works too? What the? Now which one of you wants to meet the gods first? <sighs> that boy knows how to make an entrance. That was fun! These lictors knew how to fight! Let's just say I was in the neighborhood, and my friends needed some extra cash. They are gladiators, Domine. It is customary to pay them for their services. My son? You're back! And with Cineros. Oh, it's so good to see you both safe. It's good to see you, Domina you so much. You look great. Did you lose some weight? Are you eating well? Has he been eating well, Cineros? He has, Domina. All right, all right, I'll stop talking. But you'll have to tell me everything. Tell me about the war. I heard some of your friends died there. Killed by pirates. How did you survive? 
So am I. You can't guess how glad I am. But did you like the life in the Legion? Do you want to be a career soldier? I was afraid you'd hate it like your father did. But it seems you are more of a warrior than he was. Domina, with all due respect, I guess the Legatus has his own questions. Uh, am I wrong? Oh, they were polite, mostly. Except for the fact they wanted me confined to this villa. I guess having me walking around the streets was too much of a risk. Once you were out of the picture. He had no reason to antagonize me, though. I haven't seen your sister in months. Skaevola doesn't let her out of his summer villa. She's pretty much imprisoned there. I do, and Akulus agreed. It was a sinister plan to take over our family. But now you're here, and everything will be fine. It's good to have you home, and for it to be our home again. Now that you're back, we have a lot of work ahead of us. Oh, listen to me. You just got here. Go on, take some time to settle in. Let me know when you're ready to get to work. Over here! Brother! Brother! It's so good to see you again. How have you been? For some reason, Skyavala is treating me like a queen. I do not know why. Maybe he's afraid I'll be collecting information for you. I'm starting to think his brother Lorca wants me to be on his side. Skyavala is trying to keep his brother away from me. I may be able to use that to our advantage. I'm afraid we don't really have much time. They are tailing me, following all of my moves. Lorca and his men. He insists it's for my own security, but there's something unsettling about his smile. I don't know what it is. I think Lorco is more dangerous than Skyavala by far. He runs all of their business and everyone acts like they're working for him. Even my husband's lictors. A little while. I sent her Sirwa to stake out our villa. She ran and fetched me as soon as she saw you leave for the market. It is hard to guess. He acts as if he's a man without any ambition. We both know that is not correct, though. I think they're working on something. Unfortunately, paranoia reigns in Villa Witelia. They cover their tracks well and hide everything, even from their own people. You're wrong. I do have to do this. It's the only way I can help you work against them and maybe one day avenge our father. That's the last thing we should consider. I think I'm supposed to serve as bait, and something like that is exactly what they're waiting for. Besides, I'm much more useful to you as Witelia Skyavala's wife. Thank you, but I don't think I have a choice in that. I will send a server to your kitchen door with instructions for where to meet me next week. Our new favorite patron, Awe Legati. Make way for the man who paid for your wine and whores. Speak for yourself, fool. I never paid for something I can get for free. <laughs> it is good to see you, Legate. Do you need anything? Name it, and it is yours. Mostly. <laughs> what better use can you think of for such hard-won denarii? Well said. Bring a jug for our Patronus. The most expensive one. As you should. Nobody should refuse wine. As the poet says, Bibo ergo sum. Which poet is that? What do you care? I could literally speak any name right now and you would have no choice but to believe me. Who says we'll be able to fight tomorrow? Of course not. The people still need their bread and games. The games are always on. It's the fear of death that fills you with the joy of life. We're in it for the joy. If you don't live in the moment, you will die in a moment. Don't forget the girls. They're the real reason we do it. Besides wine and our undying gratitude, probably nothing. <laughs> Unless you need us to beat up someone else for you. Of course. This one's on us, Legate. It's the least we can do for your generosity. Nice. I was getting tired of inaction. A toast to the health and honor of the Legatus. Once more. Is everything well, dear? 
They told me Lucullus is your Patronus now. That means our family reputation will be restored. That and more. Lucius! Shall we, Claudiana? I want it to arrive sooner, but we had work to do at the Senate. The villa is legally yours. The Trinity of Rights has been restored as yours and yours alone, Legate. She's still married to Skyoella, and there's nothing we can do about that. However, now that you're here, I suggest you turn that into an advantage. I don't know how we can ever repay you, Lucius. There's no need to repay anything. You of all people should know that, Claudiana. This was not a transaction. I'll keep that in mind. Is that it? But what Don't if they... worry, Claudiana. No one can harm your family as long as I am alive. Everything will be fine. <laughs>